Hi hey folks, greetings from the House of Representatives. This is your State Representative, Kerry Condotta. And believe it or not, it's the fourth week of session already. It seems to be moving quite quickly. Uh, some of the exciting things uh, this week is the House is, uh, is still moving bills, but at a very, very low volume. It's rather interesting that we're not seeing the introductions, we're not seeing the number of bills we're used to. But the Senate is moving very quickly. Uh, bills coming out of committee onto the floor and off the floor already, which is uh, unheard of, but I think for good reason. They're moving their business-friendly agenda off the Senate coalition floor, and we're very excited about this today. There were a number of bills passed to reform the state's worker compensation program. As you know, I've been instrumental in that program, trying to get it reform because it is not a good system relative to other states. It's not competitive and it's not good for the workers either. It doesn't get people back to work. It doesn't repair their injuries. So these new bills are addressing some of those issues and they've gone through committee. They've come off the floor and without that Senate coalition, those bills probably would have never seen the light of day. Now we'll see what happens when they come to the House, but these are very important reforms to make us more competitive with other states and to bring those costs down, particularly for our very small businesses, which are suffering with very high wages, very high payroll taxes, and of course the B&O tax on top of that. Over in the Government Accountability Committee, we are discussing a number of liquor issues. With the change in liquor from public to private, everything changed. All the tasting laws, all the shipping and warehousing is all different and so there has to be some fine-tuning and some adjustments on this initiative uh, that was pushed through last year and that you all voted for. We think it's good that the liquor got privatized but in the in the, in the process, a lot of things have to be adjusted and changed. So we're spending most of our time on liquor and then we'll be moving right from there to the oversight of the new uh, marijuana laws. We've been meeting with the uh, Liquor Control Board and I know there are a lot of folks in the district that have interest, particularly in the production side of this because it is going to be a rather large industry. So uh, keep an eye out on my website and here on this video and of course uh, the LCB Liquor Control Board website which you'll find uh, easily if you search uh, on Google or wherever you search. Liquor Control Board Washington State has information on that coming up. Finally in the Finance Committee that's where the taxes come and go. Wow! Lots of bills with lots of potential exemptions or removals of exemptions. The tax uh, thing is getting moved around and it's getting more exciting daily as bigger and different bills come to that committee. We'll be keeping an eye on that, particularly on the agriculture side to make sure that we protect our tax exemptions for agriculture and of course try to keep our server farms and other issues going with some of the bills we passed in the previous years. The budget's coming soon. We'll see budgets starting to come from the governor's office and from our caucus, so stay tuned in the next few weeks. That's the part that can get real exciting. We'll see you then.